I love being around nature. And something that nature has taught me is that expressing and expanding and growing is our natural state. I should probably add abundance to that as well because anywhere you see nature, you will see abundance. You will see growth. And so many people actually think that the desire for growth is something that needs to be contained. Like maybe like it's like a bad thing. So it needs to be suppressed in some way. It needs to be contained. But if you actually were seen a tree that is trying to get water and because maybe the soil is really dry, you see the roots actually reaching out further and further and further to the point that sometimes you'll actually even see that the roots will crack through concrete to try and reach moist soil. And so that tells us that desire is obviously the life force. The desire to grow is in every living being. Yet for some reason, human beings who have the most potential and the most creativity out of every other species have for some reason been conditioned in many cultures across many countries that the pursuit for growth is driven by arrogance, it's driven by dissatisfaction and it's driven by greed. And so what do people do? You see, what people do is they put a lid on their growth because they think that that's what they're supposed to do. And so they artificially enforce this sense of satisfaction and contentment, even though deep down they're not really content with the level that they're at. I did some study some time ago and realized that the most fulfilled people in the world have done three things. Number one, they have identified their life's potential and they have dedicated their life to it. Secondly, they consistently work on maximizing their potential. And third, they work on using their potential to make a difference for others. The problem though is, most people who are putting a lid on their growth are not really going to make a difference to others because their focus is inwards. They're not in an expansive and expressive mode. Think about this. If there were two trees, one tree that grow, grew to its full extent and the other tree which was where, which, where the growth was restricted, much like a bonsai tree, which tree would you sit under when you need the shade? The one that restricted its growth or the one that allowed itself to grow fully.